Go show. And let's go. And we're doing 710K URV Facebook Live, by the way, our Thursday conversation with our family at Edinburgh Schools, Dr. Mario Salinas. Mario, how you doing, brother? We're doing good. Thank you, Sergio. We're, it's another week, man. It seems like yesterday. It is. It's going you and I talk. Well. Yes, sir. Hey, you want to get mm -hmm. some of these acknowledgments um, up first here, recognize yes, some of the yes, achievements? Yes, uh, I'd like to, to get a shout out to one of our students uh, from Edinburgh High School, yeah. uh, uh, Cassandra Medrano. She's a, she's a lightweight state champion in, in wrestling. Uh, the whole state of Texas, 6A, Division 6A. So, mm -hmm. you know. It's and I Ras tell, wrestling, Freddie. Freddie doesn't know what that is. It's wrestling. Mm -hmm. That's what is wrestling. Uh, this you is know, wrestling, uh, the sport. Yeah. You know, last year, Sergio, uh, we had two state champions, uh, uh, San Juanita Leal, who won the state championship in, in uh, track, two two gold medals, as a matter of fact. And then we had uh, Keyshawn Garcia, who won the state championship yeah. in the 800-meter run, the second fastest run uh, in the history of UIL, right, at that event. It's amazing. And now we have this young lady, and, and we're not done. We're at the beginning of the spring sport. That's where, where we excel. Uh, She's a state champion in the state of Texas. And there's only one. She's the very best in, in her in her craft in the lightweight division. For uh, Cassandra. Uh, Cassandra Medrano. I mean, that, that is a, a tremendous accomplishment, uh, Sergio, for yeah. that young lady. No, it is. It's, it's and a she'll big be deal. able to, to take to forever. She, she, she can claim to be a gold medalist, uh, the number one wrestler in 6A in, in, uh, in 2024. She's only a junior. Yeah. But uh, we're very proud of her. And she's only a junior. Yes. Oh, man. I mean, I, I hate to be her boyfriend. <laughs> I have a disagreement. But she'll, she'll pin you down. We need like a Hall of Fame for all these top champions in yeah. Edinburgh, she, Mario. Sergio, all she weighs 110 pounds. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> she you weighs know? 110 pounds. She's, she's. Uh, I mean, what can I say? A, a state champion in the state of Texas. In wrestling, yeah. State. She's I and bet so, you so she's so that, good. That, yeah, she probably could take you down, take me down. Just a, you know. Oh, together. We could probably, you and I together probably couldn't beat her. <laughs> couldn't beat her. Yeah. Right. Congratulations um, to Cassandra Moreno, wrestling Edinburgh, state champ from Edinburgh High Edinburgh School. Edinburgh High School. Excellent. That's good stuff. Cassandra, Cassandra Medrano. Are you going to have like a special little ceremony, like recognition gonna, of the board? We're going to go out there. We're, we, we are going to have a ceremony for her and her parents. Uh, this afternoon at Edinburgh High School to celebrate uh, that tremendous uh, accomplishment. Is it like uh, an assembly? Everybody coming together? An as assembly, uh, not a full blown assembly, but an assembly. That's good. That's good. Yeah. See. Yeah. That's that's wonderful. Man, you're producing so many state champs out there. Uh, yes, I'm not are. kidding. We need Edinburgh. like a little Hall of Fame with to have all the names of plastic up there. That's right. Yeah. I think I think it, as a district, I don't believe there's a district in South Texas that uh, produces more state champions than Edinburgh uh, CISD. That's great to hear. Maybe at yeah. the stadium to have like a ring of honor with all the different sports. Yeah, all the and those are ideas. We 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 uh, we do have a we we do have a good number of them. Yeah, um, including our cheer teams who do really well. That's that's right. Basketball news. I know you sent me information on some basketball. Yeah, news we well we still have team. two two of our high schools alive in the state playoffs. We have Robert Vela High School. Uh, boys who who are in the state playoffs. Uh, they're gonna be playing the Corpus area. Uh, Flower Bluff from the Corpus Christi area tonight. I mean, I'm sorry, tomorrow night. And then we have Edinburgh North boys who will be going up against San Antonio uh, J tomorrow night as well. So we wish him both both of those schools uh, well. We have we have several of our schools, but we're down to two. Uh, and let's see what happens tomorrow night. Let's see if one of one or both can can keep keep going. Any of these what kills? You know, are they dunking? Can they dunk? Are they like super tall? What kills? Have you seen it? No, they're not. No? Yeah, no, Sergio, they're not big. They're not tall. Six uh -huh. four, six five kids. They're yeah. six, six one, six two, six three, maybe. But they're very fast. Yeah. You know, and basketball quick is is good. They're they're quick and they're fast. And the other thing that they they're very good. Both of these these schools. They can shoot the three point shot uh, three -point better shooters. than most. Yeah. So that is 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 their strength. Quick and they can shoot the outside yeah. shot and anything can happen. There you go. Well good for them and we wish them the best in, in the in the playoffs. Yeah, Doctor we'll see what happens and we're we're looking forward to that. Uh uh to those those games tomorrow night. Doctor Mario Salinas is superintendent from Edinburgh Schools. Every Thursday we have the pleasure of catching up to speed with all the business and all academic news and sports news, other big news coming from Edinburgh CISD. Again, congratulations to statewide wrestling champ Cassandra Moreno, who's going to be honored today at Edinburgh High School. What was the division again that, that she won? A lightweight division. Lightweight. Lightweight. 
Only a junior. Man, that's going to land. That's going to land her like big scholarship offers, man, from some of the bigger yeah. schools. You watch, man. She's going to get her, like a and, offer. And on top, on top of that, you mentioned scholarship. She's a, she takes all AP and pre AP and her grades, <laughs> as, as you can imagine. Goodness. Uh, somebody that 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 wins a state gold medal like that. Yeah. She's probably very disciplined. They probably very studious. They probably very good at what they do, and her grades are way up there as well. So, good that she's going to get an, a full scholarship. You can bet your you can bet your house on it. She will, yeah, because yeah. her grades are way way up there. And she already well. has college credit, taking all those AP exams yes. and passing all those AP yes. exams. Good for this kid. That's the, the best thing about that about that little girl. She not only is she very good athletically, her grades are way up there, God taking the most rigorous classes that we offer. Okay. Congratulations to Cassandra Moreno and her parents or family for mm-hmm. all these wonderful achievements. That's, that's such great news. Okay, let's talk about business. And you had mentioned that there are oof dozens and dozens and dozens of teachers that will be receiving a very special a- a financial prize for their academic achievements. So tell me about the, the incentive program. The, the, it's called the Teacher Incentive Allotment. It, it's a statewide initiative. That the 2019 House House Bill three 2019 uh, to make it more attractive to teachers to for teachers in the state of Texas to get in the business and work once they're in the business to stay in the business. And so they reward the the high performing teachers, and and in our case in Edinburgh, this is the first cohort group that that um, that we recognize. Uh, we got we got uh, we we were slow. We were bogged down with the pandemic, but then as soon as we uh, actually as soon as I became superintendent, we started. We got back on it. We're gonna recognize 161 teachers in a couple of weeks. Uh, they they don't know yet who they are. And um, uh, but we're gonna let them know. We're gonna invite them to a special dinner, and we're gonna recognize them uh, for the recognition that the state uh, is gonna bestow upon them. And they probably have no idea that the no. type of bonus that they're gonna receive anywhere from eight thousand to twenty five thousand dollars annually. Annually for the next huh. five years. Oh so, my goodness. For the yeah. next five years, Sergio. Once they these... get the invitation for dinner, Mario, oh, they know something's up. Yeah, they, yeah. They're going to know something's up. Yeah. You know, so uh, we're very, very, we're looking forward to that. And we're looking forward to the to the body language when they when they are recognized and, mm-hmm. and they've given the, the news that they're going to get these extra monies for the next five years. Uh, I can only imagine the excitement that's going to be happening in that room. We're going to invite them, their significant others, and their principals, and and our board, and and we are looking forward to that. That is going to make for some great video, my. Yes. I hope you're recording all of it and posting it. You, you, you got a channel, right? The, for, for the city, yes. you got your own channel. You're posting. Yes, we do. We video. have our own network. Imagine if if you're a teacher and they tell you, uh, uh. uh Sergio, you, you uh, for the next five years, you're going to get uh, an additional $25,000 added to your paycheck. Just yeah. imagine that. Yeah. For I, the next five years. Yeah, I'd do this. <laughs> yeah. I pass out. We're on Facebook Live. I, I just passed out in front of my. So I wake up. Yeah. <laughs> El Vix, bring El Vix. I'm trying to wake him you up. Know. So, so we met yesterday as a team, Sergio, because we what we want to do now. Because uh, we have a lot of teachers. Uh, we only We only recognize 33% you know, of our teachers, you know, we want to expand that pool. And we met yesterday and, and we talked to the people at the Texas Education Agency. We talked to our consultant that's helping us with this. And we, this, the teachers that are, that were recognized, that we are going to recognize Sergio, this is important. All these teachers all teach uh, courses that are measured by the Texas State Assessment Program only. You know, but but and those are grades, uh, third, fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine. No, six, seven, eight, and ten. So I told the team we we need to expand the program to recognize teachers with this with this same program in the early grade, the pre K threes, pre K fours. You know, you and I have been talking about them for a long time. The early childhood grades also deserve to be considered for these incentives. And so we're going to expand there. We're going to expand upwards to the high school for those teachers that teach advanced placement courses as well. They're not being considered at right now. 
And so we, we, we're going to try. Our goal for next year, Sergio, is to double the number of teachers that were recognized. Some are going to be more teachers in these areas that are measured through the state assessment. But we also want to give incentives to the early childhood grades, uh, pre-K-3, pre-K-4, kinder, first and second. And then we're going to reach out to the high schools and to the advanced placement program as well. Uh, those teachers that teach those rigorous classes, dual enrollment, advanced placement uh, programs, the early college programs, so that we recognize those teachers as well. So we, we our aim is to double the, the teachers for the next year that are recognized. And then on the third year, open it up to, to athletics and to fine arts and to other teachers that are very good at what they do and recognize them as well. So that's our goal. And we're working with a consultant and with the Texas Education Agency so that we can uh, uh, incentivize and, and, and reward more teachers with, with these very significant bonuses. Yeah, looking forward to hearing the news on uh, Cassandra Moreno's wrestling coach and, and also yeah. the, the cheerleader coach we had in the, the studio. Coach. Right, here in the studio. The cheerleader weeks, right? coach, those, yeah. those teach, those, nice those to... I call them teachers because that's what they are. Yeah. Uh, those need to be recognized as well. I mean, these, these, uh, the Cassandra, her coach, I mean, I'm sure trained her and got her ready to, to be a state champion and the same for the cheerleading program. Then for Somebody and something right and they need to be recognized other than just the ceremony let's let's recognize them uh, with with monetary incentives like these teachers that that we rec that we're going to recognize in a couple of weeks dr mario salinas superintendent of schools for edinburgh every thursday on the program we catch up to speed on business we got big news right now since 161 teachers will be receiving a pay raise a reward part of the right. 2019 house bill 3 uh, lawmakers passed the teacher incentive allotment that they funded back then, big pool of money, and they put in the great performances for uh, all these all these teachers. So one, some will be will receive this recognized award, which uh, for them will mean an increase of anywhere between three and nine thousand dollars per year for the next five years. The exemplary award will provide anywhere between six. To eighteen thousand dollars per, you know, for these teachers that receive this award for the next five years, the master is anywhere between twelve thousand to thirty-two thousand dollars per year for the next five years. These teachers do not know the ones, the one hundred sixty-one. They do not know that ha they have won this, and they will be awarded this at a special dinner in the near future at Edinburgh Schools. Well, and uh, as I was joking with Mario, as soon as they get an invitation to dinner, they know that something's up, and they'll probably yes. be. Part of this. So, if you said a third of your teachers got it, that means what you have closer to five hundred teachers in the system. No, no, no. I'm sorry. The, the, a third of the of the teachers that qualify that qualify for the in that in that yeah. right. Not the two thousand five hundred teachers. That's what yeah. I, was, I was trying to explain a while ago. Yeah. These are all the teachers that got coaches and teach, sports the, and the little kids teachers. They're not right. included. Yeah. They teach. These are the uh, thirty percent of the teachers that teach the courses that are measured okay. through the state assessment. Yeah. There we go. Uh, and. Collegiate High School status report, Mario. It looks beautiful off the freeway. It looks like yes, it's open. Yes, uh, we're making progress. They're, they're, uh, uh, you know, when it comes down, you know, you've built a house. Uh, the latter part of where the, all the details, the painting and the the mold and all of all uh, the molding, the flooring, all of that, it takes a little bit of time. But they're out there and they're working. And and uh, if you go out there, there's always people working. Now they're down to seven days a week, uh, trying to get it done. And and um, we're making progress. Uh, we're going to lay down the cabling for the internet mm -hmm. and for the phones uh, in the uh, next week. So we're we're making progress. I know we had a lot of rain last week, but that didn't slow them down because the uh, they're completely sealed and, mm -hmm. and they're working, you know, seven days a week. And we're trying to get it done so that we already started talking to parents we uh, uh, that uh, are interested in this program. And we're going to continue that for the next month. Uh, so we'd like to take parents to this campus as soon as possible so they can see where their children That's are going right. to be. That's right, because you're enrolling uh, freshman and sophomore classes mm -hmm. right now, and you're having those yes. talks with those parents to get them in. Yes. There. Okay. First, we, we, We've talked to two middle schools. We went to Memorial Middle School, okay. to Barriente Middle School, and we're going to do all seven of them, then go to the high schools and... And we're going to open it up for other parents that, that uh, don't live in Edinburgh that want to come in. Yeah, because it's, of course, school. Edinburgh is open enrollment, even for the right. collegiate high school. Mario, uh, mm -hmm. be safe, my friend. Lord willing, we'll see you next week, okay? We'll see you next week. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, sir.
Dr. Mario right. Salinas, Superintendent Ed Burke, CISD. Time is 9.57, the Sergio Show, 710K URV, made possible this hour. Thank you to DLJ Commercial Roofing. Big thanks as well to Best Restaurant Supply.